It's Friday, so we are going to talk about Gangnam Style, one of our favorite topics here at the Wall Street Journal. Uh, a little-known Korean rapper is now suddenly everywhere in the United States, having made his debut in um, on The Ellen Show on Saturday Night Live this past weekend. With me now to discuss this breakout sensation is Jae Yun Woo, our multimedia editor in Korea. Jae Yun, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, my first question is, um, you know, this man, Sai, has become such a huge hit uh, internationally. And I imagine this is a huge point of pride for many Koreans. What, what is the reaction now in Korea to, to his success and his fame? Has he become a national hero? Yes, he is. Um, he is actually... Uh, many people think that he's doing the country a um, really great service. South Koreans are really excited and happy to see Sai uh, breaking into the U.S. market. But more accurately, people are um, amazed and surprised by, by this sensational popularity. Let's watch a clip now. Um, he was on The Ellen Show, but there's also a very funny parody that was done of his video Gangnam Style by, uh, I believe, officers at the U.S. Naval Academy. We're going to throw to it now. me. I wonder, shouldn't these people be studying whatever it is that they're supposed to study at Naval Academy? Anyway, um, but going back to Sai, you know, one of the things that I think is really resonating um, among Asians and also in America is that this man has such a sense of humor. And that's something we haven't really seen before in K-pop. In fact, it's something you don't really see at all um, among pop music and Asian culture. So tell me a little bit about him, himself, and, and why he's so funny, which basically transcends all boundaries. Um, so, uh, Sai debuted uh, in 2001, and he released uh, six albums so far, and he's been always famous for um, funny dances um, while making a straight face, as you can see in Gangnam Style. And um, when the song first came out in July, people didn't it, the reaction was hot, but people didn't really expect this to become such a global phenomenon because, you know, Sai's always been like this, and the sense of humor and hook in the lyrics always, you know, people knew it. People, South Koreans are familiar with the singer, so it's all the more surprising for South Koreans to see Sai's Gangnam style to become really a global phenomenon. Um, and, and the other thing is, you know, with, with Sai becoming such an international hit, it seems that um, Korea in general is being extremely successful in terms of its cultural exports. You know, for many years we saw Japan at the forefront of this with their manga, um, their food. But now it's, it seems like it's Korea's turn on the world stage as the Asian country that everyone's looking to for cultural inspiration with their K-pop. Um, their fashion and even their cosmetics among women in Asia. Can you talk a little bit about this? Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't have any accurate numbers right now with me, but uh, South Korean movies and cosmetic products and move, you know, songs are, you know, everywhere in, in Asia and also beyond Asia. And it's increasingly um, drawing a lot of tourists to the country. So when you go out to like Myeongdong, a central district um, area of Seoul, you can see a lot of uh, Japanese and Chinese tourists um, shopping South Korean cosmetic products. Um, it's very uh, good quality for relatively uh, low price. So, you know, South Koreans are really hope this Gangnam style uh, phenomenon to open a new chapter in the cultural industry of the Korea and um, uh, more and more people become familiar with Korean products, uh, whether it's uh, music, movie, or, you know, cosmetic products, or anything else. 
Yeah, it, it's really remarkable, and I think that Sai himself has sparked something of a, of a cultural revolution um, when it comes to Korean goods. Thank you so much for joining us, Jae Yoon, and sharing your insights. Jae Yoon Woo, uh, multimedia editor with The Wall Street Journal.